Hi guys. So, um, because there were still some people that were struggling with uh, grade scope uploads for the homework, I want to just walk you through a fake test and show you from the student side how this is going to look. So, I have a fake student account right now that um, I'm going to practice uploading a test for. So, you're going to notice um, this assignment fake test to practice uploads. So this is set as a timed exam, two hours, and let's click it and see what happens. Okay, so fake test to practice uploads. So hopefully at this point, super obvious. If you click start assignment, um, you're gonna start this assignment and the maximum time permitted is 120 minutes. Now my students that have um, DSPS accommodations, it might still say 120 minutes for you, but when you actually click start assignment, you have your DS, I've plugged in your DSPS accommodations. If you've contacted me and let me know that you have them, that accommodation is plugged in. So when your personal timer starts, it'll show your amount of time. So there's only a few people that applies to. For the most of us, it's going to be 120 minutes. Timed assignment. You can start the assignment anytime until the due date and have at most 120 minutes to finish. You should start by October 16th at 10 a.m. because I made it due. This one's due at noon, so I should give myself enough time. During the submission period, you can submit any number of times. Okay, so um, you'll be graded based on your final submission. So during your two hour time limit, that means that if you notice that there's something wrong with your file that you uploaded, as long as you're within your time window, you can go ahead and correct that. So let's go ahead and do it. Take the plunge, start the assignment. Okay, so just like, uh, just like your guys' test, you're gonna find your download right here. My ins the instructor has provided a PDF to help you complete the assignment. Boom. Okay, this is uh, this is the the fake test that we're gonna do here. So I'm gonna click print. And okay, I'm gonna go print it out, and I'll go grab it from my printer. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I filled out my test. Let me go ahead and show you guys the fantastic work that I've done on this test with some different mediums. I've got blue pen here. I've got pencil lead. Pencil lead. You can probably already tell from the camera that writing darker is better. Okay, so now that I've got my work that I'm going to get a lot of points for, I'm sure, based on all the hard work that I put in onto this test, I am going to scan it in. Um, I'm going to use my phone because I do not have a scanner. Uh, if you guys have a scanner, great. Hopefully you know how to work that. Um, I just don't have one. So when I scan this, I happen to print double-sided because I really wasn't thinking ahead. But um, make sure that you scan. Each side counts as a page. So I'm going to use my smartphone. And I have an Android. And I'm going to use, I always use the app Tiny Scanner Pro when I want to do this. So I'm um, I'll walk you through how this app works. They all kind of work the same. Basically, what I'm going to do is make sure that my paper's lying flat on my surface. Yeah, so paper's lying flat on my surface. And I'm going to go in order. Okay, so make sure you do your pages in order. Some people had problems with this when they scanned and submitted. Um, okay, I like to stand above. Make sure you only get the paper. Okay, some people took some creative photos. And again, my phone is in portrait mode. If you take landscape, it's going to rotate the image, and then um, to grade it, I have to turn my head 90 degrees, and it just makes seeing your stuff that much harder. So please take portrait pictures. Okay, um, I make sure the photo is good, got the paper selected, and then check out what my phone did for page one. It made a cool looking scan of it. I can adjust the darkness with this app, um, and once I like that page, I click the little check, boom, checked it off. Now I'm going to do... I'm going to take another picture for page two. Let's turn the test over. Check. And then still, it even managed to capture the uh, pencil lead. That one looks good. Now I'm going to go page three. And with my app, Tiny Scanner, I can see the pictures. So if things are out of order, please fix it. That would be very much appreciated. Um, obvious reasons. And then last page, page seven. 
which this is actually page four. Okay, so there's the last page. Okay, now on my app, it shows all four pages. I'm gonna verify that they're in correct order and got my name on it and go ahead and for me, I'm gonna rename this just for my sake of finding it. We'll call it fake test three, rename the file. And then for me, what I'm gonna do for this app is I like to do share. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, when it says export as, select PDF if it gives you a choice. I'm gonna go ahead and email to myself because I'm old school and I don't really remember my Google Drive login, but you guys can use Google Drive as well. So I'll email myself this. Okay, and it takes a, it takes a little, takes a hot minute for it to email. So while I give it a minute to go ahead and send, looks like I got it already. Um, so that was pretty quick. Now look at my timer in between me printing and filling this test out and doing some printer stuff. You can see in this upper right hand corner, we've got the time remaining one hour and 47 minutes. So most people are going to have two hours for their total time limit. Again, the DSPS students, this timer should display differently for you, depending on whether you had four hours or three hours or whatever your time accommodation was. Okay, so now um, I'm going to go ahead and pop over to my email and then download this. Go ahead and save it somewhere I can actually find it, hopefully. We'll go downloads. Yeah, downloads is as easy as ever to find it. So save it there and then pop back over to grade scope and go ahead and select that PDF that you want to use. Let's go it saved it for me in downloads. Fake test. Ba Boom. Okay, um, let's go ahead and hit upload PDF so that we can actually see what we got. Okay, fake test. Looks like it was submitted. Okay, so now look at how the test displays. So when I click the problems on the right, question one, the Newton's law of heating and cooling, there it is. Question number two, it recognized it because I printed the test form out, right? And then question number three, it automatically moves me over to where that question is positioned. So as long as you guys print the test form, you don't have to tell me where questions are. Like on the homework, it asks you to tell Gradescope where they are, but when you use the test form, you don't have to do this. Okay, there's question six, question seven. And as you can tell, when I wrote light, it's not the greatest, but it's still visible. If you get to this step and you really don't like your work because it doesn't, it's not a one, it's not in the right order or two, it's really light. You can click this resubmit button. And as long as you still have time left on your personal timer, you can go ahead and resubmit. So took me back. My timer was still going this whole time. And boom, fake test. Okay, let's uh, actually, I want to show you guys what's going to happen if you upload, if you try and upload something that's not a PDF. Let's see if it messes up. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try and make it, uh, I'm going to try and upload a picture, which is the most common mistake that try, students try and do. Um, I uploaded a PNG. Let's see what it does. Oh no, invalid file extension. Okay, that's because it has to be a PDF file. So you can't take pictures. No .tiffs, no .jpegs, no .tikz files, only PDFs. Okay. So it let me do it again. And it's processing my submission. There we go. It's in. Um, I can see all the pages if I click down here. Just make sure they're all there one last time. And then... Uh, I'm done. So check it out. Just for confirmation that I did this, it says submitted. And if I want to go back, there we go. 
Okay, so it'll let me do this clear up until that, that time limit. So you can see your um, you can see your time. You can see your time limit. So it looks like once you do your submission, it takes away the, it doesn't show you the, uh, it doesn't show you the timer, but then when you click resubmit, it'll show you the timer. So yeah, and see, it's still been counting down this whole time for me, like it's been progressively going. So if you navigate away from this tab, it'll still keep going. If you close out, if something crashes, it'll still, um, go. So Yeah, and if you just cancel out, it still shows as submitted. Cool beans. Okay, so hopefully that cleared up the process for you guys. Um, and then eventually when I grade it, you'll see like when you click on this, it won't just show you where it is. It'll also show you what you got on it. And this is how you view your feedback as well. So hopefully this was helpful and you guys aren't stressing too much about the submission process. As long as you make sure your printer is working and you, ha you know how to scan things on your phone. I think you're going to be fine. And, um, yeah. So hopefully this helps. See you guys next time.